Let's hope 19th century England is ready for the Jadoon. Coming soon from Big Finish Production. Michelangelo, who the blazes are you? Get back from the edge. Sup people of the internet, my name's Reducer, welcome you guys to another reaction video. Um, a trailer for series 10, or it's more of like a, a sneak peek, or um, a teaser should I say. I haven't watched it yet, I've watched the first five seconds to make sure it wasn't like no bullshit. Um, so let's go on, it's called A Time of Heroes, maybe that's one of the episodes. Doc Doctor Who Series 10 teaser trailer, BBC One, sorry. Pure drama. The first time you meet him, he's funny. The second time, he's amazing. The third time, he's Not the all. most dangerous man in the universe. Not all. He says he's a man of peace, but he walks in war. I'm having the time of my life, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh my gosh, let's, so the release date is now release dated, yeah, that's one, so I'm excited, 15th of April, two months away actually, a month, a month and a bit away, oh my gosh, this is what Doctor Who marketing should be like, it is fantastic and we haven't had something like this since 2010 with the um matt smith and Callan, karen gillen where they just jump up because the ground explodes and they fall through the vortex and it's like whoa and it's all like echoey do you remember that oh gosh oh like the ones before with chris Eccleston's goes do you want to come with me or the uh series two one i can't remember the series two one and the series three one where it's like, I'm the doctor. I'm trained to be a doctor. Let's hope this box is big enough for both of us. That amazing. Even though Nardo literally just walked along looking swagger because Nardo is a thousand percent swagger. Exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. So in that trailer there was a lot of there's a lot of special effects used and we always get excited about this time when doctor who's just about to come back it's literally just around the corner and a bit and we always get excited and we're like oh my god this is going to be the best series to call the effects and then something like series nine happens where we're all hyped about it and then like sometime after we're like uh well some of it was okay some of it was great, and some of it was, um, a bit meh. Because when we saw classic Daleks in in the, in the trailers of Series 9, we were like, oh my god, they're going to finally be used properly, and they got treated the exact bloody same as when they was in Asylum of the Daleks. They literally were just there, just for fan service, for no reason. I swear, if you were to if you were to replace them with, like, Davies Daleks from 2005, or even the Paradigm Daleks. Nothing would have changed. They didn't do nothing with the classic Daleks. There's the part where Cannon comes down and destroys the, Tarlet, uh, the TARDIS. A special weapons Dalek, that would have been the greatest thing for it. But, it's saying that, I hope, I hope, I really, really do hope this will be... A great series because the effects look amazing even though they just kind of walk down a library and the 12th doctor just sonic screwdriver appears out of bloody nowhere and he destroys a light bulb because you know that property damage isn't high enough anyways see you guys in the next video good boy